I'm here at Church House. I've been asked to come here on, uh, well, with the Bishop of Swindon, Bishop Lee, uh, to learn about the MDR process. The MDR process, I have no idea what it's all about, but if you join me, perhaps we'll learn together about this thing called MDR. MDR is the new process we've got for helping ministers to develop and to reflect on their ministry and think about how they can develop for the future. Tom, could you just maybe highlight one or two situations where you thought, or, and, and how did it resolve itself? Well, I mean, yes, it is quite a revealing questionnaire people are filling out. And although I've done loads of feedback questionnaires in my life and feedback on me, I think this one, I think because of its depth, mm. and also because I was asking some very key people I work with, yeah. it really had its, it had a sort of authority about it, yeah. which did make it quite yeah. scary. Yeah. I remember mm. taking a deep breath when I was about to look at the results. Yeah. And I guess one of the one of the fortunate things for me was the person I talked to through it was really supportive okay. and helped me be honest and helped me to talk things through. I had no sense of judgmentalism from them Good. at all. And it, the whole thing was pointed to how am I going to develop? So it's, it's not as if I didn't feel like I was at school being assessed. It was much more a trainer sitting with me saying, let's, let's be honest, you know, where do we move from here? I was very used to in business yeah. my manager or senior manager reviewing yeah. me that was very normal yeah. but what wasn't so normal is the people you know who you worked with actually feeding back mm. on you formally mm. and so that whole side of things was really helpful mm. especially quite a number and just to accumulate their views was, was really, really helpful that's, I know I've never had that as well uh, 360 feedback would be cool yeah, so. yeah. yeah it's but really helpful I'll give you a chance here um, I mean in our company backgrounds it was about performance review wasn't it it was about basically how much how much you could give to the company and how much more you could give to the company but in, um, you've already said some things which um, turn that on its head this is not what it's about is it do you want to say well it's not an appraisal it's a development it's a development tool it's how to sharpen you know we are called to be ordained ministers in Christ Church mm -hmm. Surely we've got to be as good at that as we possibly can. If God's given us gifts, how are we going to stir them up? This is part of the way of stirring them up. Right, right. It's a reality check. This is not meant to be a kind of so you can be super and omnicompetent. No. It's so that you get a, a great view of how your ministry is experienced, what you think you should be concentrating on and how to flourish in ministry. But, and you found it was a helpful... Oh, extremely. It helped me to be, helped to hear my congregation, all those members we asked, and to really reflect with honesty with someone wise. And I, I came up with some really helpful objectives, as I said. And then to chew those over with some independent colleagues was really good. Not just affirming, but it really helped sharpen me up good, yeah. and to create a few areas I can work on. Yeah, I found the same. I found it really, really helpful. And uh, yeah, we're trying to have good facilitators mm. who bring you know what you think might even be a negative out of your confidential. Mm. Yeah. Somebody said, I think you've had a fallout with somebody mm. there, mm. or a clash of expectations, yeah. and managed to find an amazingly helpful point mm. yeah. from 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 yeah. one thing. And said, actually, if you look at this, it doesn't quite stack up. This is what I think, yeah. and that was just so helpful. So Arthur, that's that's the process. Well, I mean. Uh, the thing to underline would be, it's supposed to be an encouragement to us, yeah, isn't it? It's, it's supposed to help us, you know, to, to flourish. I think that's the message you'd want to get out, right? And that's the message I'm getting, certainly from Tom, and from you, who have gone through. We, hey, this is something positive for us, right? It's supposed to be, to help us, you know, get back to perhaps the, the dreams and the visions we had for ourselves in the beginning. That's a lovely point to end. I really do hope this is going to be something that once it gets embedded, people say, this is fantastic. And in Bristol Diocese, I think we've got potentially a Rolls Royce of a system. Okay. Uh, well, I think I'm done. <laughs> <laughs>